Ovarian cysts. How to manage ovarian cysts? Definition of ovarian cyst. It is a fluid-filled sac within or outside the ovary. The ovaries are two small organs located on either side of the uterus. They produce hormones such as estrogen, which facilitates menstruation. Every month, the ovary is programmed to produce an egg, which is important for fertilization. Any follicle larger than 2 cm in diameter is called an ovarian cyst, which may vary in size from small to very large. The majority of cysts are benign and harmless. It can occur at any age but mostly during childbearing age. The two different types of ovarian cysts are functional cysts, most common type, and they are short-lived. Pathological cysts, which may be harmless, benign, or malignant, cancerous. Signs and symptoms of ovarian cysts Symptoms The patient feels pain Signs In most cases, the ovarian cysts are small and benign, with no symptoms or signs. There are also other conditions that may have the same symptoms and signs of ovarian cysts, like pelvic inflammatory disease, ectopic pregnancy, ovarian cysts, appendicitis, and diverticulitis. These signs and symptoms are Irregular menstruation Pelvic pain, either persistent or intermittent before menstruation begins or before it ends Pain during sex Pain during defecation Pressure on the bowel and bladder Pregnancy symptoms such as breast tenderness or nausea Bloating and swelling Problems during emptying your bladder, loss of appetite, hormonal abnormalities which may result in changes in the breast and body hair growth. Symptoms that need immediate medical attention. Sudden severe abdominal pelvic pain, this may be due to torsion. Pain associated with fever and vomiting. Cancer. Causes of ovarian cysts. Functional ovarian cysts. There are two types of functional ovarian cysts. Follicular cyst. This is the most common type of ovarian cyst. Usually every month the ovary will produce one egg which is formed in follicles that contains fluid to protect the growing egg. Then each month the follicle will pierce and the egg is released into the tube, down to the uterus, in order to be fertilized. When the follicle does not shed the egg, it will accumulate fluid and form a follicular cyst, which will evacuate on its own without treatment. Luteal ovarian cyst When the egg is released, the tissue that is left behind is called the corpus luteum, which will shrink over time, but if it has blood accumulated in it, it will form hemorrhagic corpus luteal cyst. Most of the time, it disappears on its own. However, sometimes it may rupture and cause severe pain or bleeding. Pathological cyst Dermoid cyst cystic teratoma The most common pathological cyst in female under the age of 30 is usually benign arising from totipotent germ cell. This cyst contains teeth, hair, skin, both, and all other tissues, and it needs to be removed surgically. Endometriosis This affects patients with endometriosis where the lining of the endometrium grows outside the uterus. In this case, 
Sometimes the cyst needs surgical removal. Cyst adenomas. These cysts are formed from the outer layer of the ovary. They are filled with either thick mucus or a watery liquid. They may grow inside the ovary or they may be attached to the ovary on a stalk. They are rarely cancerous, but they need to be removed surgically. Polycystic ovary syndrome. These are caused by a hormonal imbalance. Those patients are at higher risk to develop ovarian cysts. Complications of ovarian cysts Many cysts are asymptomatic and are discovered incidentally. Cysts that develop after menopause may be cancerous. Some cysts may, rupture causing severe pain and bleeding, get twisted causing severe pain. Types of ovarian tumors Epithelial cell tumors, which arise from the epithelium of the ovary. They are the most common ovarian tumor. Germ cell tumors are mostly benign and arise from the cells that produce the oocyte. Stromal tumors arise from the cells that produce ovarian hormones. Risk factors for ovarian cancer Age, especially after menopause Smoking Obesity Induction of ovulation drugs Hormone replacement therapy Nullipara or a female who has never breastfed Positive family history of ovarian colorectal Breast cancer Those who have the BRCA gene Diagnosis of ovarian cysts Pregnancy test A positive pregnancy test means that your cyst is a corpus luteum cyst. Pelvic ultrasound It is a pain-free procedure where a probe is introduced vaginally and by this way we can evaluate the uterus and both ovaries so we can determine the size and consistency of any cyst. Laparoscopy it is a thin telescope inserted through your abdomen and by using it, we can visualize the uterus, both ovaries and tubes and if a cyst is present, the doctor can remove it immediately. CA125 This protein is increased in cases of ovarian cancer but there are several benign conditions that may elevate this protein such as endometriosis, uterine fibroid, and pelvic inflammatory disease. CT scan and MRI Ordered in cases of suspected cancer to determine the extent of spread of the tumors. Treatment of ovarian cysts Mood of treatment depends on several factors. The age of the patient, if the patient is pre or post menopause, cyst appearance, cyst size, symptoms caused by the cyst. Observation Most of the cysts disappear by their own over 8 to 12 weeks, especially if the patient is pre menopausal, if the cyst is functional and if it was 2 to 5 cm in diameter. Follow-up is recommended after one month. In postmenopausal women, monitoring with ultrasound is recommended, in addition to checking your CA125 level. If there is a change in the size or texture, they will need immediate intervention. After the cyst has disappeared, the patient needs to undergo a follow-up scan four months later. During this time, avoid drinking a lot of caffeine or alcohol and drink a lot of water in order to decrease symptoms.
birth control pills. Those drugs don't decrease the size of the cyst, but they prevent formation of new cysts in patients with frequent cyst formation. Surgery for ovarian cyst is indicated under the following conditions. Complex ovarian cysts that persist over months, persistent symptomatic cysts over two to three menstrual cycles, sample ovarian cysts larger than five to 10 centimeter, cysts in perimenopause or postmenopausal female, if the cyst is suspicious or may be cancerous. There are two types of surgery. Laparoscopy, where two to three small cuts in the abdominal skin are done, and the telescope is introduced through one of the pores and the cyst is removed and sent for histopathology. This method has a faster recovery rate and will not affect the woman's fertility. Laparotomy is also done. A cut through the top of pubic hair line is done and the cyst is removed. In cancer cases, the doctor may need to remove the other ovary, the uterus, and the adjacent organs if the tumor is extended. Treatment for cancerous ovarian cysts Chemotherapy Medications that are given IV orally or directly into the abdomen in order to kill cancer cells, but they also kill normal cells. They may cause nausea, vomiting, hair loss, kidney damage, and it may predispose to infection. Radiotherapy is the use of high-energy x-rays that kill cancer cells. It is delivered either externally or replaced inside the body near the, the cancer. It also has side effects such as skin redness, nausea, diarrhea, and fatigue. Prevention of ovarian cysts There is no medication to prevent cyst formation, but regular follow-up helps in preventing complications from the cyst. Oral contraceptives may prevent follicular cell formation, only this type of cyst. This is Dr. Rul Hamid a gynecologist and obstetrician and IVF specialist in Dr. Najib Layous Center.